What's up, everybody, and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, do me a favor. Run on over there, hit that subscribe button, and after you hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload a video. And after that, come on back over here. If this is not your first time, then you already know what it is. Welcome back, BFFs. Welcome back. And some of y'all may be saying, well, what is BFF? If you had already did all the like and subscribe and comment, you would be a BFF. You would know what that meant. BFF means boss, family, and friends. So once you do all of those things, come on back and be a part of the family. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? I am so frustrated with this light right now, y'all. I just had it perfectly. I put a new bulb up here. I'm like, okay, I bring because I had a lamp ready. Now, I should have just brought the ring light like I've been saying I was going to do, and I didn't. I just left it upstairs. Had it all fixed up, and now it still seems dark. But anyway, y'all, before we get into all of that, we do what? Time, time for some action. Hey, time, time for some action. Hey, time, time for some action. What's up, everybody? My name is Lottie, also known as everybody's favorite auntie, and welcome to my channel. Right now, y'all, today is Wing Wednesday, so we got wings from what? My favorite place, Wingstop. They're going to start paying me. So I have some, my favorite right here is Cajun. I got some fries and I got this spicy Korean uh, flavor. Yeah, spicy Korean. And I got blue cheese for my dressing. Uh-oh, drop my lip gloss. I'll get it. Blue cheese for my dressing. And I got a cream soda, but I think I'm going to drink this Coca-Cola. So hold on, y'all, while I hold a drink and tell y'all about my last few days. for y'all that like to hear it. My food ain't as hot as I want it to be. Had it ready. Just be, stuff just be in the way. I drank it because I'm going to pull the rest of it in. So how y'all been doing? How's y'all week been so far? How's y'all week been so far? How is everything? Y'all on the fridge right? I don't really don't for, uh, catch up and all this stuff. Dang. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I went to Whataburger while in Dallas. Actually, I went to Whataburger and in and out Y'all should check out the last video. Uh, I did a comparison. But anyhow, I do like Whataburger's spicy ketchup. I don't know. Dang it. I didn't bring it out. I brought some extra home. Anyway, y'all, I got blue cheese for my dress, and I got two of them, actually. Um, I'm hungry. And we'll get a good bite or two or three in, and then we can talk. I'm going to give y'all the first bite. There we go. They good. Mm, 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 they good. Hold on, I, they got, I got more sauce at the bottom here. I like these saucy. I think I'll be in this particular wing stock too much because they know my order. I know my order. Which disappointed me because I normally get Cajun and hot honey rub. Then got it again. <laughs> because for those that eat wings out, if y'all remember, they had hot uh, honey rub for a while. <clears throat> and they took it away. Then they brought it back. And it was back for a good while. So I got used to it. Then you got it. Mmm. This is my first time trying that one. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm hungry, hungry. I'm hungry, y'all, and I'm tired. I'm going to tell y'all everything. Well, a few things. <laughs> I 
Let's try one of these together. Do y'all like flats or drums better? This is what it looks like without the blue cheese. I probably should have got a ranch too, though, because I don't know what this tastes like with. I do know it's spicy, though, because when I was taking it out of the bag and setting it on here, of course, it got on my fingers, the barbecue. It's spicy. I do know that, but I didn't eat the chicken. So, get y'all a bite. Mm -mm. I should have took a bite by myself first. Well, it's good. I'll do it again. I need some hot sauce, though. Some more hot sauce. <laughs> I'm gonna see what it's like with the Cajun sauce. That's good. It's sweet. Spicy. It is. Mm. Yeah, I'll get it again. I don't know how soon I'll get it again, but I will. Prior to them getting hot honey rub. I'll just do lemon pepper. Well, some said, let me try this. So I did. And I don't regret it. I don't regret it. My family and I went to Dallas for a few days. My cousin got married. My cousin and his wife are both from Chicago, but they live in Dallas. So the whole family, both our families, and a lot of their friends went down. It was a lot of us. We had a great time. Now, I did tell them well done. But this piece is even a bit extra chewy. Yeah, they're doing too much. <laughs> so, <sighs> I was debating how I wanted to say this. First, let me tell you why I'm tired. Why I'm tired? We drove <laughs> from Chicago to Dallas. Don't get me wrong. I love a road trip, so I, I don't have a problem with the drive. And my daughter is afraid to fly. Like, she'll fly, fly. It was absolutely necessary. But because I don't mind a road trip, and my husband don't mind as long as I help him drive, then we'd be good, depending on where we're going. We knew it was going to be a long ride, so we prepared. Plenty of room, van, and all that. My husband worked that day, the day we left. And, um... Made had a cocktail or two <laughs> to wind down, so I already knew I was going to take the first leg. Tell me why I did most of this driving because my husband forgot his glasses. Watch this. So and so left him glasses on purpose. Girl, he forgot his glasses, bro. Sis, y'all, he forgot his glasses. And although he tried to drive a little bit during the day, I didn't want to put that strain on his eyes and all this stuff because, like, he. I believe far sighted or whatever. I can't remember. But I know he tried, but mm -mm. you're not going to try and hurt us. <laughs> to try and hurt us in the process. So most of the drive was on me. So. But anyway, I ain't complaining because we still had a great time. We made it there, back, there and back safely. So, they got a couple things I want to talk about. One of the things is, when y'all go out of town... Do y'all still try to eat the same food that you can get here? Like, um, it was my cousin's birthday. And so, and I get it, because the first day we're going to go go to Papa Do's. My cousin, one of my cousins that's from here, his birthday, we actually celebrate his birthday down there. We wanted to go to Papa Do's. But my son can't eat nothing from Papa Do's. And I'm already going soon back here. And then so they said, okay, well, fine, we'll compromise this and go to Chili's. And I said, nah, I'm going to pass y'all. I'll catch y'all with y'all later, which I did. So you had a few people. Nobody was upset. It's just like, well, why do you want to go to Chili's? I, when I go out of town, y'all, I want to eat something that I can't get here. I can get Chili's, Applebee's, McDonald's, all that stuff here. I want to eat food that I can't get here. 
Hence, the in and out Burger, What a Burger, Bojangles, you know, stuff like that. I can't get that up here. So, so are y'all like that? Or y'all just stick with what you know? Because it was Chick-fil-A, um, Jimmy John's, all those things were about a hotel. You know, and so was Whataburger. Actually, it was, it's on the other side of the highway. One far. Well, I didn't really have it as far because I was going to get it. You know, Dallas or Houston, whatever. You can find Whataburgers all over. So that wasn't a problem. But I don't like to have food that I can eat here. Now, if my money funny and my strange just happened to be a little change, I get it. But maybe if I can avoid it, I don't know from here. Oh. <laughs> I know I ain't talking. I'm coming. I'm coming. And speaking of that, when I start knowing he's talking, here I come. That's part of what I want to talk about. I really would like y'all opinion on something. Now, I watch YouTube before I even start it. I watch YouTube. And I see people eat. But then what they eat don't keep me. Right? What they be eating don't keep me. I may see it. Somebody like I eat seafood. I might like the way it look. Watch it for a second. If they ain't really saying nothing, I like it. I even subscribe and keep going. I subscribe. Don't hurt to subscribe. That's another thing too, y'all. I think that's why God is blessing me so soon with amazing people like y'all. Because before I even committed to doing YouTube, if something came up in my feed, it was I knew people or not. I looked at this stuff a little bit. If it don't seem like it's a disrespectful kind of content or derogatory content whether I watch it all or not I like it and I subscribe sometimes I even comment you know but I definitely subscribe because I want to see everybody eat even we can't eat together I want to see everybody eat I want to see everybody win so I thank y'all hmm. I try to pay attention to the comments sometimes and sometimes I'm not I have people in the comments. Like one particular person. She said a couple of comments before that. I kind of looked like, is that just her being hurt or is she really trying to be rude or mean? Like the last comment that she posted was, do less talking and more eating. But immediately I got offended. Like, who she thinks she is? How dare she? And blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, you know what? I don't really know the person. So I don't want to take her tone as offensive. But then I thought, well, she could have said it a different way. She could have said, hey, I enjoy you talking, but I prefer you eat because that's what I'm here for. I don't know how she could have said it, but I was just kind of offended. And if she watches, this is um, the comment that you made. Um, what I'm about to say, don't take it offensive. This made me think about some things. I don't want you to take it offensive, and I hope you didn't mean it in a, defense, uh, uh, a derogatory way. Don't be offended, and I hope you weren't being offensive when you said it. Because after that, I start watching other videos, and I see other people saying on the videos they do less talking and more eating. Be love, as a matter of fact. She was doing a video just I think on yesterday's video. She was saying she was eating or whatever, and she said, "I know, I know y'all, I know y'all. Let's talk more eating." She said, "Even when I teach my class, let's talk more eating." And listen, I respect that, but I just need people to know that's not why I'm here. I'm not here to do more eating and less talking. It's a balance for me. We out to dinner, y'all. We out to lunch. We out to breakfast. And when you out to breakfast, out to lunch, and out to dinner with people, what you do? You eat and you conversate. That's what I'm doing. So, to not offend anybody. So, that's where it comes in with the, my, my, my conversation is conforming versus, versus compromise. <laughs> Conforming versus compromise. I'm going to talk more about it on another video. 
But be mindful of when you want people to conform. And you be mindful if you're going to compromise. The compromise is not bad. Because you compromise, kind of everybody is like, okay, you know, I could see that. Or I could do that. So I'll compromise. Because it's not hurting you to compromise. Right? But conforming. So I, I'm, you want me to conform to what you want me to do. So that you're happy. And so that you're pleased and you're, you're okay. But I am unhappy. And I don't like this situation because I have conformed to something that I don't even want to do. It's the difference, conforming and compromise. Stop asking people to conform. Now, my day ones, everybody that's been here rocking, commenting, and rolling and all that, y'all tell me what y'all think. What y'all prefer? And I'm not telling y'all I'm going to change it. I just wonder, though, do y'all prefer me to eat more? Let me talk less. Today, I feel like I ate more. I'm hungry. That wasn't even intentional. I looked up at the time. I'm like, damn. We already 15 minutes in the video. <laughs> so with that, I'm apologizing. And first of all, for me, I know I was sent here for to have conversations with good people like y'all. Have lunch, breakfast, and dinner with y'all. So I want the lady to know in the comments, I did hear you. And I felt offended at first. But then, I don't know you. So maybe you weren't being offensive. Maybe you just like to watch YouTube. And I just see people eat more than they talk. That's not me. You asking me to do something and be something that I'm not. I'm not the person for that. Well, I appreciate your comment. I do. I appreciate you liking the video if you did. I appreciate you subscribing if you did. But I ain't here to conform to nobody. Because if I conform, that means I'm not doing what God told me to do in the first place. And although this is not a religious channel, I do my best to hear from God and do what it is he called me to do. Yep, I cuss, I drink, I do a whole bunch of stuff. But I still know God, I still love him, and I can still hear from him. So, <clears throat> give y'all another bite. I know I ain't gonna finish all this. Then my kids try it. They want the uh, spicy barbecue, the Korean barbecue. Y'all try this, it. okay? It's really sweet. I think my son likes it because he likes it. Oh, it's oh my goodness, y'all! This blue cheese. I wish I could get theirs in a bottle. The wings I made, they blue cheese in a bottle. They be hitting. I love blue cheese, but it's, it's not always easy to find a good blue cheese. You gotta get certain places. Like Outback got a good blue cheese. Voters do. Um. Oh my God, what restaurant? It's an upscale one. I can't think. Of, I should be thinking all these people anyway. They ain't paying me. <laughs> I'm hungry, y'all, and I'm sleepy. My next few videos, I'm going to be telling y'all about my week. My, what was it, five days? Yeah, but y'all don't even know it. I was pushing content. Oh, God, I forgot to tell y'all this Slate Timber. I'm going to put all the Slate Timber participants in the uh, description box. Go check them out, y'all. September's almost over. When it's over, baby, I might cuss a few of these folks out. Look, get in on, I'm, look I done got an ABS got in on a Slate Timber campaign. Now I'm complaining. Push y'all the video every day. At least attempt that most people did. Most people got them out. We did get them out. We did get videos or laughs, and they've been good. So I'm going to put their names here. Go check them out if you already have it. And if you have, go back. Because they're giving content every day. Subscribe to them. Comment. Like, share. So I don't want y'all to think that I don't take advice that I do get on YouTube. Just because I don't like to do something, don't mean it ain't pleasing to other people. So I don't mind compromising. Like I told you, I had to got a call. And I was telling a, work, a person, my husband and I both know, I was telling her that she was telling me that she appreciated, she liked me on this 
platform. She think I'm doing good. And I told her, I said, the only thing I hate is that I be able to smack it. I hate that. She's like, no, keep smacking. That's what people like. Just like right now, wipe my mouth. That's somebody said, girl, people like to see that. They like to see people be real. Because when you at home, you be wiping off right away. And I think I'm pretty sure I do because I'm older now. You know, I know better. <laughs> but then sometimes I wonder if I'm eating at home and ain't nobody around. Because y'all family to me at this point. I'm going to eat like I eat at home. I ain't a savage, but I eat. But I don't really be smacking. But now because I be talking all the time, it just kind of happens here. So I compromise. I don't even try to pay attention to the smacking. I just eat and talk. Um, ooh, some other things. There's just a couple of things that I have to say that I'm, you know, compromise. It's okay. But I ain't conforming. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because now you have taken control of what it is I'm supposed to do. If I conform to everything you want, you have taken control. Mm-mm. I'm mm doing -hmm. I'll compromise. And I ain't compromise with everybody. Nope. Oh, the other thing was my fingers. I hate to see people get licking their fingers. I don't judge. I just hate to see it. We lick every finger. Now these two, maybe short nails or not, long nails or short nails, I do it because that's what my food be. So I just, <laughs> I do it. No, I don't want to do it on camera. But I've been told, I just do it. People gonna judge you whether you do it or they don't. Clearly, people gonna judge you with you whatever you're doing. If they don't like it, they gonna say something. If they do like it, they gonna say something. So, let's do it. I said I was gonna get these kids some, so I'm making them. Yeah, so I'm gonna do it. Just two to try. <laughs> she like Cajun, so she'll take one of them. Um, the a spicy one, uh, spicy careers, and my son can have the other two. I think. Because then again, I may eat these later. I spent enough money on them out of town. We are officially back. Yeah, pushing all their content. I was doing videos sometimes twice a day. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. My sight is about to just like a. Like my nose is itching. It's itching right there. Sorry. Spent plenty of money on them down there. So if they don't get no fast food and they got to wait for dinner, so be it. Or if they got to eat some cheese and crackers tonight, <laughs> it's too bad. Because sister girl right here is motherfucking tired. That little girl say, who child was that? <laughs> One of the rappers. Hey, I'm motherfucking tired. Auntie is motherfucking tired. <laughs> One K on the way, y'all. I'm at seven hundred or something now. What's today? Tomorrow will be officially two months that I've been at this. Mm-hmm. And I'm already over halfway there. I thank y'all. Keep on commenting, keep on liking, keep on sharing. Get have have your people subscribe to me. I appreciate it. If your kids got extra accounts. Subscribe from their phone. <laughs> I don't know sad note. I mean wing stop so much. This particular wing stop and I don't know if all of them do, but they used to have um dinner rolls. So I would go in there, I get a dinner roll. But also the butter that they put on the dinner roll, I would have them put on the corn. Because I used to get the corn with lemon pepper on it. And they put the, that particular butter on there. I came there one day and tried to get it. The guy was like, we don't even got the rolls no more, so we don't have the butter. I was so hurt, disappointed. So last week, two weeks ago when I went in there, I was ordering my food. He said, you want blue cheese, right? I'm like, yeah. He said, hey, you know, we got, um, when he said, you want blue cheese, I'm like, wow, well, I must be in here a lot for him to remember that. He said, you know, we got the butter for the rolls. I'm like, for real? He's like, nope. <laughs> he said, I just wanted to crack with you. 
a joke which I ever was. He said, but I hope we do get it back. He said, because I do know you enjoyed that. I did. And I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really about that corn no more. <laughs> yep. Now, they don't, don't get me wrong. When they was doing the corn, they wasn't putting their butt on there. I had to ask them to do it. And some places wouldn't do it, but they did for me. So, I don't know if it was a bad thing or a good thing that he remembered exactly what I wanted. Even the stuff they don't sell no more. I guess we don't have longer because my last video was so quick. I did a car banger. I did a car banger. Y'all check it out. The in and out Burger. And the, um, whatever. My daughter did it with me. She just didn't want me on camera. I found some other stuff that y'all be seeing. We be seeing on TikTok videos. I have YouTube videos on here. Certain stuff, certain chips and stuff that we can't find. I can't find up here. I found them on the road. So them videos coming. They are coming. Get ready. All right, y'all. I think that was enough. I don't. I'm so hungry. I don't think I gave y'all too many bites. Y'all want a couple of these fries? <laughs> y'all three fries. I can't get myself together because I ain't had these nails. So first of all, about these nails, y'all know. I, I'm gonna wait for another video. I'll tell you about them. There we go. Let's get these fries, y'all. And then we're going to pray on the back here. I'm going to run video. Watch it all. Watch it all. Y'all watch it all. I may click on your name and ask you to inbox me or send me your information so I can send you something for free. You're going to love it. But only, only people that watch the video said he ain't going to know it. Listen, I ain't trying to brag, y'all. I really do have some stuff. I told y'all before I do some other things that I generally just don't talk about on here, but you can always see it on my Facebook page. But anyway, um, yeah, I got some stuff for y'all. Watch this to the end. How many know you want? This is what you're going to say at the end if you watch to the end. Cream soda. Cream soda. If you put cream soda at the end, I know you stayed. As always, y'all, I pray the peace of God is upon you and your family. I pray that you always understand that you don't have to conform to anybody. But you do understand that it's okay to compromise. Because compromising, everybody kind of wins. You know the difference in conforming and compromising. And don't be pushed into that arena to where you feel like you have to. I always hear from God. I pray the peace of God is upon you and your family. I pray no hurt and harm will come through to you all. That you walk out your purpose. All for God's glory and your benefit. Amen, amen, amen. And I will see y'all in the next video. And on that note, it's a what? It's a wrap. Love y'all. See y'all later.